Yeah, hello, and uh, absolutely nice to be back uh, uh, on Eco Summit. I had the chance to say something about KiwiGrid two years ago, where KiwiGrid was actually in a very interesting stage since we were looking for strategic investors to broaden up the portfolio of the company. And actually, we reached that goal that year. We got two really nice investors in with LG Electronics and also uh, Energy, uh, Energy SE, not Energy Venture Capital, Energy SE. And so we could go into a new direction. And I would like to show you what we did the last two years, and I will show you what we will do in the next two years at KiwiGrid. And uh, uh, one thing actually is for sure the same. This is the vision of the company. We believe in a world that's seamlessly run on sustainable energy. And for us, it's very important uh, to be seamless. That means for us, that is a very simple and broad access to renewable power everywhere for everyone. Wherever you want to build your own PV, whatever you want to drive your EV, or whatever you want to do with it, it should be easy and seamlessly, wherever you like it. And actually, uh, we're still building a product, which is a platform which enables that access to sustain sustainable power in B2B business. And B2B business, as we all know, is very hard, since we not only have to convince the users, we also have to convince the B2B customers. And that's our major challenge. And uh, today, actually, KiwiGrid is a almost 10 million a business, full digital. It employs 160 really passionate people in Dresden, Germany. We control 60,000 DERs containing EVs, storages, and, uh, and micro CHPs. We also have a cross-sector ecosystem built up with almost 50 partners interacting with each other. And we have, as I said, really strong strategic investors to drive the company with 1.2 million data points, almost secondly requesting data or bringing data to our data centers. And uh, uh, this is the company today. And uh, as I've been here two years ago, uh, uh, we promised that we will be able to have an energy IoT platform for every B2B business installed and set it up in eight weeks. And this is something what we did. We achieved that. Our customers today, and I will bring some examples later on, our customers can set up their own energy management or virtual power plant in eight weeks today. This is a large achievement for KiwiGrid as a company, and, uh, uh, but still, in the next step, and we currently are an energy IoT platform, in the next step, we want to go more service, more closer to the customer, in order to really become our services scalable and uh, in a very broad way to the users. And I will show you how. The first challenge from an energy IoT platform to become a really service platform is actually regulation. You have to integrate several regulations throughout Europe. And the problem is that regulations are not only technical, you also have to work in several foundations and you have to do the groundwork. KiwiGrid already did groundwork since two years, but we're still not at the end. But actually, and finally, we built a product to bring grid operators and energy retailers together. That's a large success for us. And we will come up with that, with that product in the end of this year or begin of next year. Second challenge is actually currently our customers uh, uh, request, they request several different values, but the products of our customers does not fit to the values the customers ask for. Our OEMs, PV suppliers, uh, CHP suppliers, they offer hardware. What our customers want is self-sufficiency. That doesn't fit to each other. Our customers basically want mobility. Car manufacturers offer a car. That's a total mismatch of each other. And finally, energy retailers, they basically bring a tariff to our customers, but what the customers want is heat, mobility, and power at the same time. They want sector coupling. They want all of that coupled in one bundle. And the KiwiGrid platform must be able to basically give them that power to orchestrate new products. Finally, and this is, uh, from my point of view, the largest challenge is simplicity. There's a huge advantage of a nuclear power plant compared to sustainable energy. Nuclear power plants you can use as a user immediately, in a second. A sustainable power plant installed at your home takes you average 30 days. That's a very, very much difference between each other. And that type of usability must be improved. That's one of the major challenges of sustainable energy installations. So regulatory compliance, customer value, and simplicity 
bring an IG, energy IoT platform to really service business. And our customers, which are the large B2B, which are the large OEM manufacturers, the large car manufacturers, need to be enabled to sell services and not energy IoT. Technology is not enough. And I will bring a, come up with a couple of examples how Kiwi Grid basically comes up with uh, or basically approaches our customers in a better way, in an energy service way. Energy service platform, that means for us, at first we created an operational system regularly to compliant to several regulations throughout Europe and uh, uh, having the possibility to bring grid operators and energy retailers together in one device compliant to the upcoming German regulatory BSE protection profile. It's very dry stuff. It took us three years, and we hopefully end it in the beginning of next year. But in that device, very powerful, you have the possibility to get the grid and the retailing together. That's a large advantage. Another thing is Kiwi Utility. We basically built a product orchestrator, giving car manufacturers and hardware OEMs the chance to integrate tariffs into their products. That means, for instance, SolarWatt, or let's say Q-cells have the chance to integrate a tariff in combination with their solar panels as a powerful flat rate product for their customers, remembering they want self-sufficiency as a result. Uh, that, that brings them the power of completely new products in their value chain. Very important. Next thing is Kiwi Hub. We understood in the future that we always bring just technology to our customers. So we created a partner orchestration uh, a unit that partners can be orchestrated with their products with each other. That means, for instance, Q cells come to us and said, hey, we have beautiful storage, we have uh, very nice PVs, but we need a tariff to be integrated to have a full product. Yeah? So we brought them together on the platform and they, they could build up a product for their customers. Another thing is reseller enablement. We educated our B2B partners to be able to sell our products. We made them simpler the way they could understand it because we usually deal with sales departments, with product management, and actually also with the innovation departments of B2B companies. And that's a very hard job to be scalable in that. Furthermore, we built an installer academy. We started to educate installers with our customers to make them able to install those new type of products. And we even offered guided installations. An installer can call KiwiGrid at any time, and we lead through the installation for the installer. So these people also have help to get the products into the field. That is all way more than just technology from the past. Finally, uh, there's a single application what helped tremendously uh, uh, facilitate the job of the installers at the installer center. We reduced the time of installing a renewable power plant inside of a building from, let's say, between two or three hours to at least under half an hour for just single installation just by launching the installer center as an application. And this is very important for our installers since, since there is a critical part in the value chain of bringing sustainable energy or renewable energy into the buildings. In that way, as an example, uh, we just closed the deal with Nissan, Nissan Energy Solar. Nissan actually used remembering the regulatory compliance from Kiwi OS for uh, the EV market in the UK for demand response services, uses the installer center as an installation scenario, and also uses Kiwi Utility to integrate utility services. So it's a full example of those new features inside of their new product landscape. Uh, currently, not right now, uh, but in the future, they will also integrate mobility services in their energy solar offering from today. So they already use those new services and helps tremendously facilitate their life. Becoming an energy service company is critical for, for KiwiGrid. And uh, another example is Hanwha Q-Cells. Uh, Q-Cells actually was, as you all know from the past, a strong PV manufacturing company, but right now they also go system. And they were looking actually for a possibility to integrate a full tariff to make a full autarky offering uh, uh, to their customers. And uh, we will be able to deliver not even a partner, we will also uh, be able to deliver the control of the full energy supply and the integration to the utility. And in that way, on the platform, the people had the chance to get new products in a very short time frame to their customers. Finally, and that's why I'm also here and I would love to talk uh, uh, with the people who are interested in, 
We're coming from three strong investors, and for the future, we want to add two new strategic investors in the, in the next one and a half years in the mobility and the heat space to basically make Kiwi Grid a full sector coupling company with strong access uh, and a strong customer base. And I would love to talk to people who are from that space. If not, you're always free to become an employee for Kiwi Grid and join that fantastic team in Dresden.